brings up quite a score. Now we're talking about grams, not runs, and that's vitally important to these fox cubs. They've found a home at Graham Dangerfield's Animal Sanctuary in Hertfordshire, and as week old cubs, they have to be carefully fed on special milk. Just seven days old, but they've already got quite an appetite. How about this for a real touch of motherly love? Yes, here's a place where even the best of enemies can be friends. Birds, over 300 of them, as well as animals, enjoy the life here. And it's a full-time job for assistant Betty Darvel, making sure that all residents get their fair share of food. Even a kinkajou, who's often quite happy hanging around by his tail, never refuses a bite to eat. Kinkajou, a strange name, but not really surprising as you watch his kinky activities. Bob the Badger is just one animal who seems to have found new friends since he joined the zoo, for most of them came as orphans or unwanted pets. In fact, the zoo was only created after Graham Dangerfield was offered many animals and birds by viewers who watched his TV program. But now, unfortunately, redevelopment plans threaten to wipe out one of the best British wildlife zoos in existence. The muntjac deer, bottle-fed since a day old, looks healthy enough, while the fierce South American ocelot defies the rule that all of them here are just good friends. Even the treetop minor bird seems happier when the polecat goes ferreting around behind his bars. Dangerfield Zoo is a hospital as well as a home, and for once one, the luxury treatment is over. Now it's back to the wildlife, unless he's grounded by another collision with an electric pilot. It's quite a send-off for one fortunate swan, but there are some residents, like Frida the Tame Fox, who've become so used to sanctuary life that freedom would only mean easy game for some poacher or pack of hounds. Why is almost enough to restore a fox's faith in human nature? Ready for takeoff, which is what could happen in this 100 mile an hour wind.